Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television, brought to you by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Now, 2016 marks a very important anniversary in the history of Winchester. It was 150 years ago that the first rifle made in New Haven, Connecticut, had Winchester proudly stamped on its barrel. This week's Rifleman Review is the LWRC DI. That stands for direct impingement. Previously, all of LWRC's guns were, of course, piston operated. For I have this old gun, we'll look at the rifle designed by Sir Charles Ross. Very accurate, but often dangerous for the user. But right now, let's look at the history of Winchester. To know Winchester is to know Smith & Wesson, uh, because Horace Smith and Daniel B. Wesson really brought the idea to the table, or tried to, uh, for what would later become the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. And that was, uh, we consider Winchester to, uh, to be a rifle company by and large, uh, but originally uh, Smith & Wesson's plans were for handguns, and that's what they originally sold Oliver Winchester, a shirt maker from New Haven, Connecticut on, uh, was uh, a handgun that fired what they called rocket balls. Uh, but back in the 1850s, it, they just couldn't find a way of making it practical. And uh, as Winchester shares in investment in this, uh, this gun company grew, he realized that the way Smith & Wesson were going with it uh, wasn't going to end up being anything that they could actually make a profit on. Now Winchester was a business guy, and he was a sharp guy, and he wasn't afraid to sue people, he wasn't afraid to be sued, and he ended up going into business uh, with Benjamin Tyler Henry. And Benjamin Tyler Henry came up with a 44 rimfire cartridge. This whole Winchester thing, it's like chicken or egg. You need the cartridge, you need the rifle. You know, if you have the cartridge, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't work. But what happens is Benjamin Tyler Henry's design for a lever action rifle eventually becomes the 1860, the Model 1860 Henry rifle. And it is fed by a tubular magazine that's underneath the barrel. But there's some quirky things about the Henry. Uh, in particular, the uh, magazine tube underneath is propelled by a spring, but there's a little tab there. And that if you want to load this gun, you've got to turn it on, its, uh, put it on its butt, you've got to rotate the magazine over, you've got to take the spring and its follower, and you've got to move it over, then you drop the cartridges down, then you put the follower back, and then you rotate the whole thing, then you can shoot the gun. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.